wet. Nice. What's up everybody? It's hot out here man. I think uh, I saw in the truck it said it's uh, 100. I literally just stepped out. I disconnected. Look at that. I don't know if you can see it. Wet. I disconnected the trailer. <laughs> I disconnected. All I did was I parked, I disconnected the trailer. I walked down the little hill where I'm wet in more than one place. Even my back. No, like this is just Carolina but uh, anyway we're on this project what we're doing is we're coming in we're clearing out the yard it's all like overgrown brush these homeowners they bought they bought the property and it's just kind of they tried to clear some and it's just too much for them so and they did actually clear already a bunch of trees and so that's why there's so many stumps out there we're clearing out the brushy areas we're gonna smooth and grade out the yard areas in an attempt for the homeowners to try and grow grass. That's kind of what they want to do where they can. I did tell them it's not going to be really possible very well because it's super shady. You know, they're going to try. So we cleared it out and there's like new lighting everywhere. We have to pull out the old, the new lighting that's just been installed. Now we got to pull it out, put it aside, make sure we don't cut it. Um, other intricacies, there was an old wall we took out that was stacked stone. Uh, we just hauled that out today. Um, we're gonna build a new retaining wall where that old wall was. It's only gonna be maybe foot and a half, two feet high, about 120, 130 feet long, where it like steps down throughout the hill because the property's on a hill. So that's the little bit of a cute challenge with the, the wall. And then there's a secondary retaining wall in the backyard just to kind of help support the gazebo. A um, bunch of more clearing out by the pool. The, the previous homeowners were like DIYers, so they built a bunch of weird looking stuff, stuff that wasn't to code, just funky looking. Like they planted trees right by the pool. They built pool copings, like in their coping and pool deck area, they built little circles and planted trees. So now the trees are growing and it's blowing out everything. So it's like, what? So that's being cleared out. Um, once that's all done, retaining walls are done. As of now, that's where we stop. So I think it'll take the clearings today's for, it's been about a day and a half, maybe another day at most. That'll be done. And then the walls will take maybe another four days or so. I speculate it'll take about seven business days of work, plus minus, depending on how much rain we have. Um, today's Wednesday, we'll have Thursday, Friday, Monday, maybe by Tuesday I'll be done. We'll see. Later, Dylan. Yeah. Um, that's where we're at. And in the midst of that, today we had the skid steer battery was dead. The uh, One of the guys left the key on. And uh, we'll link a video to that. I, I actually was having difficulty figuring out how to jump it. I can jump a car, but I've never jumped the machine. I don't know if there's some intricate way to do it. And we put it together. It was super simple, like the, the red cover, you'll see in the video if you check it out, the red cover just says do not remove, so that's why I wasn't sure, I was like maybe there's, that's the reason why, but you remove it, and then there's a ground there, and like like anything else, you just jump it. So there was, that was fun in the morning, um, hauled everything out, da 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 that's it, now I'm sitting here waiting to pick up a check. So hopefully the other guy's here, if he's not, I'm gonna go speak to his wife kindly and grab it because it's time for money. Look at this, I'm sweating. So hot. Adios. M -M